my question is a, a personal problem of mine. Um, let's say, for example, I decide that um, I will stop eating junk junk food from today, or rather minimize junk. I'll stop eating junk food, or rather minimize my consumption of junk food. Um, but what happens is that I go about doing it for um, let's say a, mo- a month or maybe you know, f- forty five days or something. But then I go back to my earlier schedule, like um, e- eating whatever I want and all those. Like this is not just re- related to that. Even if I decide that from today onwards I will attend all the lectures that I have, um, but still, um, what happens is uh, I have that uh, commitment issues uh, to uh, to my decisions. Like uh, I still e- even if I decide. कि um, आज से मैं सारे लेक्चर्स अटेंड करूंगा बट बट स्टिल इट हैपेंस दैट आफ्टर अ वीक और आफ्टर टू वीक्स आई स्टार्ट स्किपिंग लेक्चर्स सो हाउ डू आई बिकम मोर कॉन्शियस और मोर अवेयर एंड एंड टेक ओनरशिप ऑफ माय डिसीजंस व्हाई डू यू वांट टू अटेंड लेक्चर्स सो सो दैट आई विल गेट द रिक्वायर्ड uh information to do well in my classes uh, and so so that i will so that i will learn enough to do well in my exams do better than i used make up your mind make up your mind ha huh. i want to i want to attend classes because um so so that i will do, because you know, that's what everyone says na attend classes you will get better grades because that's what everyone says that's the way you are born you know the entire population of this earth that's the way we are born hmm two people say that's what everyone says why do you want to attend lectures is is there attendance requirement no zero yeah. what's the usual attendance in classrooms um so i'd say if there are 100 students there would be in good classes there would be around 60 and if like if the professor is not uh, if no professor is i mean not that much liked by students maybe around 15 20 or is it so that 15 20 is anyway the upper limit irrespective of how good the professor is no no in in some classes you know there, there are students like 6 in some classes um, there are around 60% attendance 60% students are attending class mm, then you guys are a special lot yeah usme sir that's basically lab classes and all where you know. where anyway if you don't go you flunk right so you have to go i'm talking of lectures because that's what you started off with yeah in that way yeah um, and especially in online lectures um like people just pu- pu- put in like what i do most of and i just you know just get, get into the class through google meet we are going to publish this recording <laughs> <laughs> so i get into the google meet and then attend carefully <laughs> and make notes <laughs> no uh, my question was not just about attendance about all all, all the different thing that about decision that i think will would make me my life better like um, for example in the whole in the entire year 2021 i have been trying to go to gym i go for 3 weeks 4 weeks and then um, why do you want to go to gym because uh, there are there are multiple reasons. one is that i feel better when i go to gym go to gym i mean uh, i feel i feel more energetic and all um and second is it is good for my health in the long term right and you still go to go to the gym right yeah I, so I, there is something that pleases you more than being energetic yeah being lazy that's what so how, how do i overcome that there has to be something bigger than laziness because laziness is contained in the body itself what do you mean by lazy define laziness um laziness is basically like um i i i don't want to waste my energy i'll just be sitting here or just be laying down here and playing games and sun laziness is an unnecessary pejorative 
you are imposing morality on prakriti and calling it as laziness there is nothing called as laziness in physical nature there is the tendency towards work minimization ha huh? and it's a very logical thing try to get the maximum output from the minimum work possible now you are looking at it from moral lenses and calling it laziness please please stay with me right if you have an idea that something is giving you more output with lesser work you will do it that option will be chosen in the moral vocabulary you can call that as laziness but you will choose that option because you are perceiving good output from your action or lack of it right the output is pleasure the output is pleasure the activity is remaining lying down on your bed right and and that's the the net gain from it i'll keep lying on my bed i gain pleasure so there is the thing within you that calculates the ratio how much pleasure did i get and how much energy and effort did i have to invest and if that ratio is greater than the ratio of the energization and whatever you get from the gym divided by the energy you put in the gym something within you will always choose lying down on the bed irrespective of whether you call it laziness or whatever yeah effort minimization is required in prakriti physical nature it's a prerequisite for our physical survival yeah. every species if you look at all the animals and other other people what are they doing if they start expending energy left right center they will die because energy comes from food and food requires a lot of effort in the jungle so prakriti has trained our bodies to be effort efficient that effort efficiency in the moral glossary is called laziness it is just effort efficiency hmm? don't call lazy people lazy they are just effort efficient just effort efficient now it looks sorted at this point but it is not why because the output that you have calculated from your classes or gym or anything that's worthwhile has been grossly underestimated and that's why the ratio is not favorable mm. there is a particular pleasure that you get from sleeping and that's undisputed right i'm i'm sleeping and i'm expending very little energy and so the ratio is very high because the denominator is very low the denominator is the effort that you are putting in right the effort that you are putting in is so small that the ratio that the, that the output is very big right now you go to the gym and the effort you put in is large therefore the numerator has to be correspondingly very very large if you are to exceed the ratio that you get in sleeping huh unfortunately for you the benefits that you see from attending classes or gymming or reading or all the great activities has not been properly calculated only when you will properly and insightfully know the benefits that you get that your decision will change the moment that appreciation changes the, that ratio changes automatically the inner desire will change 
and if you try to change your decision while keeping the ratios adverse you will find that you are again and again slipping back sleeping will always be more attractive than working if the ratio has not been properly calculated there has to be a reason why somebody expends his energy think of it a lion expends all his energy now what happens to him he is tired if he is tired two problems one he must immediately go for food he must immediately hunt secondly if he is tired then his ability to hunt decreases therefore in prakriti there is a strong urge towards conserving energy right if you don't understand that urge you will just keep dismissing it as laziness and and such things it won't help therefore what is energy efficiency in prakriti is laziness in morality and is unconsciousness in spirituality if you call it laziness you are not understanding it so simply call it unconsciousness hmm? you are unconscious that's why you are lazy you are unconscious you do not know that's why you are lazy hmm let's say you are you are hmm? at your service why are you 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 are you are lying in a room and you are drunk as we all are we are born drunkards huh and there's fire in the room hmm and it's and it's winters not not the goa winters huh the delhi winters there's a nice fire in the room and you are drunk and you are feeling in fact nice pleasured and the room is burning and the fire is just just getting big and big you continue to enjoy your your position you are just lying down you do not realize the room is about to be burned down and that you too will be gone the moment that realization comes you'll be like a spring up from the bed and out towards the door all laziness will be gone those who are lazy lack not in energy but in understanding you do not know that you need to work and that work will get you benefits dividends joys therefore you are preferring inaction over action had you really known the 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 sweetness the ambrosia of right action you would have chosen right action over laziness every moment because what's the fun in lying unconscious on the bed what's the fun great fun lies in being awake no will you ever miss a date because you just overslept and if you do that you will curse yourself entire life yeah it's another matter that that might be the biggest blessing you ever got but because you perceive the pleasures of the waking state as substantially big therefore you will not miss the date due to oversleeping hmm sleeping offers some pleasure dating offers a higher pleasure therefore you will not keep lying down there lazy it's just that in the case of dating the pleasure is very physical very gross very easy to see appreciate and calculate in the case of right work the joy is internal and subtle and therefore difficult to quantitatively calculate and so we miss out on it because it cannot be easily quantified therefore we quantify it as zero that's our inner trick 
because we cannot easily quantify it. So, we have a software that returns the default answer as 0. It does not accept that the answer exists and the answer is huge. It is just that I am incapable of calculating uh, it, identifying. Ah, identifying it. Instead, it says, oh, I have calculated because I am a super stud, I am so knowledgeable as we all are, especially when young. And it says the answer is 0, 0. And so, we say, what is the point in working when the return will be 0? And therefore, we keep lying lazily. What we need is sharpness. What we need is insight. Hmm? Two things. I gave you two examples and you would have probably not missed the contrast there. I gave you the example of being uh, enclosed in a burning room. And I gave you the example of meeting a, a nice girl. So, only these two things can, can relieve you from your laziness. Either the fear of missing out on life or great love for something tremendously beautiful. When you have either of these two in your life, then you no more remain lazy. And if you are lazy, it means you have neither fear nor love. And both are great things to have, fear and love. I am talking of the right kind of fear, not your ordinary fears. The right fear. The right fear that I have one precious life and I will just squander it. That is the right fear to have. Or you could have a great love. I have one precious life and there is so much to realize, so much to know and I will miss out on all of that. Hmm? I want all of that. If I say miss out, that is fear. I want all of that. I love all of that. Therefore, I want to remain awake. I don't want to miss the, the sunrise. Therefore, I want to remain awake. Hmm? I cannot keep uh, lying on bed. I cannot afford to close my eyes. The sun, the sunrise is just, I have fallen in love with the dawn. Hmm? So, so that is what you require as a young man. Lots of love. You require to have a big heart. Hmm? And uh, uh, a sec second part of this question is, um, so there, there, there are you, are you, first, wait, wait, wait. Okay. are you clear with the first part, first of all? Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand um, that either we are, we, we should be motivated by fear or love to, uh, love for the activity, the only then we will be, uh, only then we will be willing enough to do it on a regular basis. It's not exactly what I said, but okay for them. <laughs> Proceed. Yes. Okay. So, uh, so, um, so I have been working on an entrepreneurial project. Um, so, so currently this is motivated by a vision and uh, a, and 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 a passion toward, towards the project. Um, but uh, what I fear is that uh, what if one day it becomes motivated by money. I mean, the, the project gets motivated instead of the vision and the passion, it gets motivated by money and then we derail. So how do I keep a check on that? What's wrong with money? Uh, the, 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 if I focus on money, then the vision will be left behind. Na? What if money is there for the vision? Yeah, then it is fine. I mean, I saw I one of your videos. Well, can you have a vision without money? What kind of vision are you talking of? No, no, no. Uh, so, vision and money go hand in hand. Hmm? Otherwise, in the name of vision, all you will have is dreams. They don't require money. Money is not a problem. The mind that does not know, even obsession is not a problem. I'm just trying to jump the gun all the time. Huh? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Even obsession is not a problem. The problem is the wrong center. What are you obsessed with? What are you obsessed with? Be obsessed with the right thing and obsession is beautiful. Want money for the right purpose and earn trillions if you need to. Hmm? Equally, 
A vision can be devastating if it's coming from an unconscious point. You can keep saying, oh, I have a great vision, I have a great vision, but that vision will actually be a nightmare. Lots of people have visions. Everybody is a visionary. And the earth is a mess. That's the vision. Money is not a problem, nothing is a problem. Hmm? An unconscious mind is the problem. If you are unconscious and if you don't have money, how is that a great state to be in? Huh? Like a drunkard with no money in the pockets and heavily drunk, lying in the gutter and saying, oh, look at me. I am a farishta. I don't care for money. I have given up all my materialistic possessions. No money at all. And why is there no money? Because all the money was blown up in drinking. And the fellow was too lazy to earn anything. So no money. How is not having money a virtue? Kindly educate me. Oh, I was not saying not having money. But then that's the way you said, what if instead of vision, I am thinking of money? No, no. But what I meant was, in the, now in the center, is, there, there is vision. Now that's the new, new word in your vocabulary, center. But it's a good word to have. Great. Well done. Know what to keep at the center. If, if you keep consciousness at the center, if you keep wisdom at the center, then money is a great tool to have. But never keep money itself in the center. Yeah, that is what I was talking about. Yes, wonderful.